everyone, Tracy here. Well, today I'm going to share with you my pink spiderweb mini. I made this mini for a swap that I'm in. My swap partner and I decided to do a Halloween mini album, and she requested hers to be black and pink. So this is what I came up with. But before I share this with you, I just wanted to say that I did a tutorial from uh, how I made this from start to finish. So if you wanted to check that out, that should be the video before this one. So we'll start with the front cover and if you didn't watch that one I just to share with you that I cut this out on my scroll saw with a heavy chipboard this is heavy chipboard and I drew this out designed this and then cut it out on there so we have the spider web and then I found these really neat sparkly spiders actually they're kind of pretty and I have him devouring the hand of his victim that fell into his web and then I made these um, rolled flowers and I put some sparkle on either side of it. And then I also have this scroll sparkle. And this here is um, self-adhesive and I don't like it. It seems to want to pop up. So I'm going to have to add some more of my own adhesive so that'll stick better. And if you've noticed, I painted my nails to match the mini album. This is kind of fun. I'm, ha I'm really getting into this matching my nails to, <laughs> to whatever project I'm working on. And I have a tie closure. I just tied it up with some ribbon. And the ribbon was a good match for it. And it says, Happy Halloween. I'm not sure if you can see that. I don't have my cheaters on, so I can't read it right now. <laughs> and the thing is, I had totally finished this album. And then I realized that I think it needed a closure and my daughter agreed. So I had to do it after the fact. So let me share with you how I did that. And what I did was, oops, I punched out a border punch and then I placed it behind here and I just traced around the edge of the spider web or the front of the cover. And then I sandwiched the ribbon in between the cover and uh, the black piece of... Uh, of cardstock and it's in there really good so just to show you that you can fix anything after the fact so this first page is the little pumpkin girl I think she's so adorable and because my partner wanted uh, pink and black and because she's a pumpkin so kind of hard to get a pink pumpkin well you probably could color it but um, I colored her little nylons here pink and her little pumpkin and her little barrettes I colored pink as well. And then I made two tags out of black cardstock and covered them with um, the pink pattern paper and then journaling tags. Whoops. And my partner is, I think, 15 or 16. So I'm assuming she's going to have a lot of friends that she can put pictures in here of her friends and a lot of uh, journaling. So I like to journal and I just assume everybody else does too, but I, I know they don't. But teenage girls should have lots to journal about. And I never, I just adhered these two uh, corners here. I left this open, so if she wanted to put a picture there, she has a little bit of room there to put underneath if she wanted to. And those go in there. And this um, pocket actually is the top of a paper bag. I guess I had it left over from making treat bags or something from last year, and so I saved that. And this is a envelope mini so there's the flap for that and I put a tag in there so she could put a picture of her and her friends and some journaling on the back and because this is an envelope mini I um the ends were sticky so I wet them to take the the stickiness off of them and then I put some of the uh, embossing buddy on there and it was still sticky so what I ended up doing was I put a piece of cardstock right along the sticky part so that's how I fixed that problem and here's the second page so she has a nice size area here for a picture and then another smaller uh, tag and then journaling on the other side and then this girl here, I colored her with my Copics. I think I colored all of them with my Copics. And I drew the sidewalk in, and um, I colored her with pink, and she has pink streaks in her hair. I don't know if you could see that. And then I put a little tag here as well. So we have the cat that matches that cat. So she has a could journal or put a picture there, and then I just left this blank for a picture. 
And the reason I didn't want to get rid of, like I could have taken these flaps off or I could have extended them, but I liked them because they were even with this side. And so that's when it's open, it looks more cohesive. So that's why I wanted to leave the flap the way it is. And then I put um, the paper on this one. Well, I put the paper on all of them. And here's another place for a picture, another tag, another place for journaling. And then this pic this one here, again, I'm pretty sure I colored her with my Copics. These are just, I think those images are so cute. And this is a little brown paper bag. And um, I was going to put candy or something in there, but that's kind of really big. So I might find have to find something else. i got to put some candy in there for her. Who wouldn't love an album just for the candy? And then here I put a little tag in there. And I think that spider's so cute. And... Um, more journaling and then this is one of the tickets from uh, the Tim Holtz die and then I stamped it with the Halloween 30, 31st and then inked around it and then another tag with the happy spiders and then some journaling and it wasn't until after the fact I found my pink ones but I didn't have enough to do all of the tags with the pink journaling spots Whoop. then on to the next page I colored her again with my Copics. She's so cute. I, so I popped her up on two um, pumpkins and then out of that black sparkle paper that is I have here the Happy Halloween I punched out some of the spiders and then I punched out a pink spider and put some sparkles on that one too. And then here is another tag and the journaling and then another um, Tim Holtz ticket and a I stamped the treat I colored it in and then I uh, what's that called when you stamp off and then stamp on a spider web around there and then another pink tag and some journaling and I want to thank Brenda for all these tags she was getting rid of them and she asked anybody who wanted pink tags and I didn't realize I'd use so many in one one project I thought I'd use them with my girls but they were perfect for this for this mini album and then another girl I colored with my Copics and I put some pink on her hat on her waistband and on her stockings and then a smaller tag with some ghosts on it and then journaling and then the little tiny ones again for the pocket and this was a place setting for um, your table and I just stamped boo and I embossed it I used this for another project I did last year and then I just used the same punch that I used here to border the back of the pocket and then one last journaling tag And here we have the ghosts flying up there. And the last one says boo. And then another place for a picture for her to put some of her Halloween pictures on there. And in the back, I just have my information and my, my three hearts that I always use. So I hope she likes it. And thank you for joining me. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks a lot. And I see the sparkle fell off. See, I do have to add my own adhesive. I hate when that happens. Well, thanks for joining me. Bye now.